Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and let's not waste any time. Welcome to my setup tour for mid-2016. So just as a note, before you ask what something is or where you can get it, please watch the entire video and check out the links in the description. Anyway, the first thing I'll mention is the desk. Now this is actually a pretty modular desk from Ikea made of four separate pieces. The Alex drawers, Linmon desktop, and the monitor stand. The Alex drawers double up as the legs and storage, which is super convenient if you ever need to transfer your stuff to another room or feel like switching them out. I do keep things in the drawers, such as my XPS 15, which I actually did my full video review on, so if you'd like to check that out, be sure to hit the link in the description or check out the card that appears on your screen now. Anyway, I've also got some camera batteries and external hard drives as well as some review products and school books and printer paper. The other one houses things like some phones, external batteries, a duster and controller for my lights which I'll get to, and just some other things that I decided to put down in the lower drawers. Getting back to the tabletop, as mentioned this is a Linmon table from Ikea which is actually not even really connected to the drawers. It's actually just sitting on these little rubber pads similar to what a laptop has on the bottom to prevent it from sliding around and it works very well. On top of the desk is my monitor stand, which I'll mention in a minute, my keyboard, mouse, and phone stand. The keyboard is the Poker 3 from Vortex, which I picked up a couple months ago and have been loving since. The mouse is the Microsoft Designer Bluetooth mouse, which is also really nice, and the stand is the Ilago M2 stand, which is pretty convenient. All of which, though, I have reviewed, so if you want to check out those videos, I'll have links down below. Anyway, getting back to the monitor stand, it's fairly simple and straightforward with two drawers up front for some added space should you need that. Now you'll notice quite a few things on my monitor stand, including this IKEA plant which is fake for any of you wondering, my set of Logitech Z130 speakers which aren't the best by any means, but I needed some speakers a couple years ago and decided to pick these up since they were affordable and I wasn't looking for anything super high end. Basically to get the job done when I need some decent audio. And right beside my right speaker is my router, however the star of this show is the beautiful monitor, the Acer G257HU. Now this is a 1440p monitor, so right in between the 1080p and 4K options, and it looks damn good. I've had it for a few months now and have published my review of it, so if you'd like a more in-depth look, feel free to check that out. Oh, and if you're wondering about the wallpaper, it will be linked down below in the description, so just make sure you check that. Now just off to the left side of my monitor stand is where I store my lenses when they're not in use, and the right side is where I put my camera when that's not in use, which is the Canon T3i by the way. Now behind the desk you'll notice some lights. This is actually a pretty basic LED strip from Amazon which I got as a gift for Christmas and although they aren't something like Philips Hue, they do a great job of adding a little extra something to my videos and desk setup. Plus, they're really nice to have at night when I want a little bit of light but nothing like a lamp. They do come with a controller as mentioned before with a really nice selection of colors, modes, brightness options, and even the ability to make up to 6 custom presets. So what am I packing in terms of PC power? Well, I've got a Dell Inspiron 3847, which was released almost three years ago, but don't let that fool you. It's sporting a quad-core Intel Core i5-4440 processor clocked at 3.1 GHz, and I've upgraded the RAM from 8 to 16 GB and was even able to install a 500 GB Samsung 850 EVO SSD and use my old 1 TB drive as storage and put in an NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti. I get that it's not the most powerful machine in the world, but for something I picked up that's almost three years old and had no intention or even knowledge on how to upgrade, it'll definitely still be my main machine for a few years. It's able to handle video and photo editing with ease and even playing intense games like Grand Theft Auto 5 run without a hitch. Now just behind that you'll notice a wire rack which is also from Ikea by the way, which I used to some level of success for hiding the cables and upping my cable management game but I'm definitely not finished as you can see. And last but not least is my chair. I mean no setup is complete without that, right? So this is a super basic chair from Staples and unfortunately it seems like they have removed it from their site so no link for it down below. It's fairly comfortable but nothing real special about it. But anyway that is my setup tour for mid 2016. I hope you all enjoyed the video and remember to check out the description for all the link goodness and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.